So we should be live there, huh? Let's see now if we are. Move off, Carol. Good evening, folks. It's just after 7 p.m. on Sunday, the 19th of April. Um, maybe we've had a bit of a false start there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we have any. Let's just see here. With our live stream. We're just trying to confirm if we have no, I don't, I don't our live know. stream up and running. Yep. Yeah. So we're live there now. So again, not sure if we had a false start there, but over the next 90 minutes or so, we hope to you'll join us in singing along. That's really what it is. There's a list of songs there Mary posted up. This is the Metal Kill daily sing song for the soul. We have it at 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time every day during this period of COVID lockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole idea is that you might sing along with us. So... Yeah. We're just trying to confirm that we have audio here. That's the 18th. Um, Every day during this period of COVID. Okay, so time. I think we have confirmed that. Hi, Natalie. Uh, just that uh, excellent. So, Natalie, just confirm that you can hear us there in the message. Will you say hello from Machete in uh, West Germany? So you can see the songs that we're singing are. We'd be singing Blown in the Wind, The Ferry Man, The Irish Rover, uh, Where Have All the Flowers Gone, The Cheating Heart, We Should Overcome, and the three songs that we are going to try and sing for, for a number of nights on the road for practice, Nancy Spain, Song for Ireland, and The Town I Love So Well. Um, so again, we're going to be singing out of the songs as a selection of these two songbooks, of which there are about 500 songs. And essentially, the way the experience is that you see the uh, you see the songs in front of you here, words and chords, and we'd like you just to join in along with us and sing to your heart's content, and hopefully play your instrument. If uh, you feel you're somebody who's just practicing your instrument, um, uh, look at take this opportunity to say to yourself during this COVID crisis, I'm going to learn how to play my songs. Okay. So Nancy, I think Nancy's here. Just, just look at, just check it again. Just stroke, pull it down. So Mary's just a bit of a problem. Um, just hold on now. Metal kill. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, let's just check. Hmm, for some reason, whether that's not. Mm -hmm. So hi, Paul Flaherty and Nancy. Uh, here, just. Just swap for my phone's turned out there. So look, we have uh, a bit of a question. So what normally happens is if we can switch on our camera here, somewhere in here, I'm sure we have a camera. So just to tell you, we're streaming from an iPad here, where the app that I'm using allows us to allows the iPad allows the stream to capture all the different apps that were run on the iPad. So I'm just stroking across the iPad here when I'm doing that. So typically what happens is Mary watches the comments on, mm -hmm. on her phone. So we're delighted if you uh, give us comments, particularly at the moment, just to confirm uh, that you can hear the sound all right. We hope you can. Um, so I, I think we have Anya and Iroch and Ray and Nancy Cleary. Uh, we have all there, okay. I think. So again, I say in our little community of interest that we have, lovely to see people back again. Uh, just the weather report <coughs> here in Northwest Donegal, a bit more cloudy, a little bit more cloudy and pool of breeze earlier on today, but we went for a walk on the shore and it got a little bit better. It was quite nice and it's a nice evening here this evening. So that's so we've, quite good. We've All got right. the two Nancys and we've got uh, Sean Lawless is here as well. Hi, Sean. So, so we've got one, two, is it? Yeah. I'm going to start off with Blowing in the Wind. Again, hopefully the songs that we sing here will resonate with you and make you feel like singing along or remind you of associations that are joyful or sad or whatever and do share them with us and with each other. I mean, that's what makes the, the stream so enjoyable and it's nice to be able to, as I said, for a bit of diversion just to be able to do some of this. So we're going to play Blowing in the Wind, uh, Capo and uh, Fred Position 2. Yes, all right? okay. How many... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. On the screen. You can see we're really uh, 
confused to yourself. Organized today, yeah. So are. sorry again, if you're a first time here, you, what I do is I paste the chords and the words in front of you on the screen, so it's not us you should be looking at, it's, it's just we're a guide to what we're all singing together, right? So, sorry, false start, we're on fret okay. position two, okay? <laughs> And how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? Interesting question that we have at this time, where we have a global pandemic and uh, and all the death and destruction that is wreaking throughout the world. <coughs> and if the one thing it calls for is for a unity of purpose, mm. um, unity of cooperation, unity of clarity, unity of transparency. Is that too much to hope for? I wonder. Yeah. Kevin Bailey is here. Kevin Bailey, how are you? Hello, Kevin. How are you, Kevin? So, um, delighted to have you along. So again, again, the idea here is for us to have a bit of diversion, a bit of distraction, a bit of fun over the next uh, short period of time. We're going to sing the, the Ferryman. Okay, right. okay. So it's a lovely yeah. day in Dublin, and it's evening rather. It's a lovely evening in Dublin, and it's a lovely day in London. Joe Kane is here. Maria Fordham is here from um, Bedford. Welcome, Maria. Yeah, so great song to start with. Yeah, look at that. And again, what we say, if you if you if you haven't downloaded these books, please do so by just clicking on the view the group, join the group, which every day new people seem to come in and join, and then within that group, there um, Facebook enables documents to be stored if you're in a group so the two group the two books are up there as pdf so we'd be delighted that people would take them and enjoy them and you know pick out songs you like sing them with each other sing them for yourselves suggest that we sing them sing them along with us whatever it'll be lovely so we're looking forward to ferry man um, we're live now. yeah i think we have that now so again just remember one of the things about trying to do live streams it's not like or tea or, or any mainstream TV production and you're just on your own. You don't have anybody outside nodding to say you're online and you're live or whatever. So it's a bit of a, I won't say hit and miss, but uh, sometimes 
when we started there earlier on, I don't know whether the stream dropped or the microphone dropped out, so I think we seem to be online here. So we've got so, here. Anyway, let's just enjoy the, the, the ferryman. Again, really, our hope is that you'll, in, you'll feel like singing along, um, playing along or whatever, and especially these choruses as we sing them. A lot of the songs have lovely choruses with them. Okay. Playing it open. Open, 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 open. Oh, the little boats are gone from the breast of Ben of the feet. The ferry man is stranded on the quay. Sure, the Dublin docks are dying in a way of life is gone. Strawberry bed sweep down to the field. Oh, my brother. Oh, I love you well today, and I love you more tomorrow. If you ever love me, Molly, love me now. Was the only job I knew. It was hard, but never wrong. That just wipes away all the, the other stuff as to why are we here? What is this? Yes. What's our purpose in this universe right now? Louis Brown is here. My late mother used to say to me, it'll all be the same in 150 years. And Mary said, I said, no, it, no won't. it won't be. We won't be here. You'll have different people here. It'll be a different world. But it'll all be the problems, same. Same problems, old, same problems. old, same old, same old. Problems, problems, problems. And I wonder, will conspiracy theories big as, be as big a deal in 2170 as they are now? Because it's uh, in order to keep our minds open, that we call it, we listen to the conspiracy Theorists. stuff during the day. And do you know, I was listening to some fella today, he was a doctor or something, but I don't know what sort of doctor he was, but... He knew all those multi knew lots of multisyllabic medical terms, and that's the thing. Therefore, they sound. Look, I don't, I'm not putting the guy down. Don't know enough about him, but all seemed very convincing. I was thinking that I wonder if I wrote a book, a fictional book, where I made up a whole lot of words and a, a whole lot of dilemmas, and posed a whole lot of different solutions and the different conspiracies. Would it be any less valid than the man that's out there at the moment? What do you think, Mary? Don't know, but I just want to say that we've got Lucia Gallagher, Lucky, but it's Lucia lives in Enfield in County Meath. She plays the ukulele in um, what do, what do you call your group again? Jumping crickets or the beating hearts? Is it jumping crickets? <laughs> and and I think she knows Brian Cleary. So the next time you see Brian, just say hello. And she's got two lovely dogs called 
Lola. Lola. Funny, some people don't do Facebook. Lola. Lola, Lola and Ted. So Lola and Ted say hello to Diego this evening. Very good. We've got uh, we've got Joe Mellet, Ro Mellet from Derbyshire, and Maria Fordham says that last song reminded me of my aunt Mary. She always called Maria. She always called me Molly. Okay. Well, I see we have Glenn Baker there from the states. Um, yeah, Louis Brown. I presume that was blow, blowing in the wind you enjoyed. So Louis we're going Brown. to go on and sing uh, your cheating Hello, Louis. Heart. Sorry, hi guys. Hello, Louis from Suffolk. Nigel and uh, Nigel, a man named Vivian and Nancy Cleary. And so it's really nice. I mean, what Mary and I were just talking about today is a, sort of what is a mast here is a general, there's sort of some group of people who seem to enjoy the idea of this sort of thing, of being able to, and singing along and whatever at this time. And, Again, we meet new people. We met a stranger as we were walking along the Mocker today, my chap called Sweeney. And again, he's uh, cocooning on this side of the country. He got here before everything closed down from Belfast and decided this was a much safer place for him to be than in Belfast and mm. join himself. So, And he had a beautiful big dog called Belle. And I posted a picture of the dog on my Facebook page if anybody wants to look at Belle. So we'll try this cheating heart here in the key of G. Um, again, we've sort of moved on a little bit from telling you what pages they're on. If you have the books downloaded, we'd like delighted to look through them and suggest songs to us. Look, we'll try them. It's not, you know, uh, we'll see with the couple of songs we're going to sing shortly, where we're going to sing a number of songs every day for a number of days. Hopefully we'll all become a little bit more familiar with the songs. But uh, we think this is open. Um, you're cheating hard. Hank I think, Williams, I think. I think. Is yeah. it? Oh, it's Hank Williams. And it. Patsy Klein. Oh, I thought it might be Ray Charles or something. Anyway. Your cheating heart will make you weak. You cry and cry and try to sleep. that when we met that chap out walking today we we just got talking about pasta flour potatoes <laughs> and baking oh, yeah. and we we're just commenting on the number of people who seem to relate to us that they're baking and knitting and sewing or whatever but particularly baking because i suppose in the busy world where everybody <laughs> is in a rush to work and back home and if you have young kids you're collecting kids 
if you've raised your kids, you're tired from having collected them. So it's a lot easier to just go to the supermarket and pick up stuff or to your deli and pick up, you know, uh, home or That's right, bread, right. local bread or something. And suddenly mm. the, the uh, shelves are commonly uh, run off their feet with their emptied of flour. And I was watching Odlums is, an Irish, is a flour certainly made by an Irish company. I had some article in the news the other night and it showed their production line. And their production line is really work. It, it, it traditionally didn't work sort of uh, around the clock. Was that you for know. flour, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. but it showed their production line. The man who owns it, he, again, his name is Odlum. So Odlum's are the, the, the flour with the owl on them. Um, and uh, so he was just saying how the production levels have up. So people seem to be uh, baking away. And I just, I think yesterday, I think I might have posted a, a photograph of some of Mary's My brown, brown bread. brown bread, which I make practically every day. Uh, and at one time I made the bread for half the country. But now... Uh, half the country's well, making its own bread. Well, we came to Donegal, I've made it for my neighbours a few times. And, you know, if somebody comes to the house, actually... So, Sean Lawless, if you're there, you might give if somebody, a, when, when a testimony we, to this bread. When we, you, Sean will, yeah. So when people come to visit here, they always go home with brown bread. Um, so anyway, just to say, but what this gentleman that we met, whose last name is Sweeney, he said that he had made potato cakes. And I said, oh my goodness, that's lovely. That reminds me, my mother used to always make beautiful potato cakes. And he also said he makes pancakes. He makes pancakes in the morning for breakfast. Lovely again. But my, but Naomi, my daughter who lives in the Isle of Man, she was telling me that uh, it's very difficult to get pasta there because it seems to be that kids nowadays, they eat pasta rather than potatoes or anything else. So I was just saying to her, look at all the different things you can do with flour, you can make scones and pancakes, savoury and sweet. And, but Ruth, Ruth in Letter Kenny, she's also baking. So everybody and anybody, they're there. Yes, they are. That's what they're doing. So anyway, it's lovely to see Mark McCormack. I think you might be doing baking. Uh, that'd be a good thing, Mark, to uh, invoke in your... Um, Mark does great work with a, a movement called Create the Great in You, which is a, a mission that he's brought into, particularly in mm -hmm. uh, uh, mid teen students in transition year working with them about issues around resilience and personal development etc but wouldn't that be a very interesting i know you do a lot of stuff through comedy etc wouldn't it be great to have uh slapstick break breaking bread breaking bad bad baking bread breaking, whatever breaking bad she you know that, that breaking quite well bad, yeah. and again willie pierce i Hello, think willie, willie just said hi you? willie i think willie said he's out on the porch down at wexford today so I know yesterday we had a beautiful day and perhaps you're just and your share of it down at Wexford, let us know. On in New York says, love that, Hank and Patsy. John Coyle is watching, Nigel. How are you, John? Uh, Hope things are well with you. Uh, bang on from this morning. Hi, guys. Send a photo of my... So, okay. So, Willie Pierce said, hi, guys. I sent a photo of my setup this evening to Liam's messenger. Feel free to share it with Mel. So, he's actually sent you um, something here. So I just have to, so you normally I don't have that up running here. So again, just to say I'm using a, a gamer's app called... Um, uh, but. Marie Fordham is baking a lot too. I ran out of eggs today and learned that mayonnaise or applesauce can be used instead. Hmm. Instead of eggs, use mayonnaise or applesauce. So there you are, guys. That's what it's like to be retired from your big job on the railway, Willie. <laughs> Having before then uh, done your service with what used to be Telecom Aaron Hello, with his guitar. F fine guitar. Is that a golden guitar? Um, yeah. I suppose you can ride your gold ring around the backyard, Willie. That's the best we can wish you at the moment. Anyway, it's great to see. Isn't it lovely to see? Whatever oh. else about anything else, we have a number of months ahead of us of at least bright evenings, which is lovely. Thank God that all this is not happening to us in the middle of a very bad winter. So Cathy Anderson said, uh, Paul has just made some lovely pancakes for son. Excellent. You never made any pancakes for us, Paul, when you were here. But, you know, we, we are all, we were all bringing, when, when we come out of all this, we'll bring <laughs> all sorts of new talents to the table. We'll all be new people. We'll have all a right. big hoolie. Okay. Okay. So. Now, I'm not a... I, I had all sorts of plans. I start off every morning with all sorts of plans and rare, barely make it here in time. So, Natalie, I haven't forgotten to 
uh, try and put the 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 German words to this song as well. But Sean Lawless had mentioned it as our Sunday song, so we will sing this. But we wanted to build this. There's a beautiful version of it. Um, Sagt mir wo die Blumen sind. So, but anyway, we'll sing it. This this English one, English version, sing along. Lovely. I hope with a lot of the songs we're picking, that they're songs which have a resonance and mm. sort of have a resonance to to community and the sense of togetherness that's important for us to have at this Willie time. Willie Pierce says, 45 years and eight months in the workforce, enough, right? Oh, they're a big job on the railway. That's big a, job. Big right. job on the railway is to say up in Intercore, Willie. Anyway. Anyway, the most important thing is to enjoy it now, Willie, and sing your songs, and uh, may there be many of them for you. I don't know how you, if you can, well, I don't know whether you can carry your your guitar along on a, on a, on your Honda Goldwing. Pete I wonder Seeger. how you can do that. Pete Seeker song. Right. Playing it open. Where have all the flowers come? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers come? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers come? Youngest pick them. song which is again about the cycles really isn't it you know the, the world goes round and round and round until it gets back to the place it started uh, and we're just we're on the you know we're in the America and we're on the hamster wheel just doing our cycle when we're here um, Natalie prefers the English version of where, where have all the flowers gone uh, well yeah but I, I look I, I have it in mind the problem with my mind is moving from my mind into my hands and to do something about it but uh, anyway we're enjoying singing the songs too much John but I was Boyle, just thinking of uh, there's a saying in Irish, "Egtilu is egtro a kaihan on tida a law." So, um, filling and emptying, or coming in and out, is what the tide spends its whole day doing. Mm -hmm. And you know, 150 years ago, the tide in the west coast of Ireland was going. Whoosh, mm. whoosh. And I have a lovely soundtrack of. 
water filling in the stones on a beach down in Kilmore Key, Willie. I recorded a number of years ago, and I used to use it as a backdrop to videos I had with the, an introduction of that Igtilo a Sigtra, a Cahan and Tida law. And so, in a sense, that's what that song is about. You know, we can, if we left the house we're in here in, you know, not a hundred years, the whole place would be overgrown. Mm. And uh, to say if New York City was just left in a couple of hundred years, you would come All along the there and just look like a jungle, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. you wouldn't want to take ourselves so, too seriously. So, Sean Lawler says um, that song has a 50 year resonance for him. 50 plus years. All oh, right, Tom. Very good. Thank you, he says. What about the brown bread, Mary's brown bread? You didn't tell us about we what need you the about that, Sean. For, We need the testimony for on that, Sean, right? Uh, so here's half past seven. So it's uh, it's uh, take out your song books and your uh, your rulers and all this. We're back to school. Um, oh, the school around the corner is just Is this same. Nancy Spain we're doing first? So we'll start off. This is our... We're going to do three songs every night. Uh, for a couple of nights and see how because we added in Nancy Spain last night somebody really liked it so we said yeah nice song to do that so, this so is we'll start the, off with Nancy this Spain this is for all the Nancys that we have here with us Nancy in Nashville and Nancy in Pittsburgh and they both live actually they both live in, in areas in called Brentwood, Brentwood. Yeah. imagine that somebody else we know lives in Brentwood in California but I can't remember so it's interesting, we look up in the sky and every now and we, we see an aeroplane and there's an airport, I suppose, five minutes across the sea from where we are here. And they, it's turboprops that fly in here. It's not jets or anything, but uh, we don't see an awful lot of air traffic here. Very few trails across the, the Atlantic at this that we see anyway. We were just thinking of how that whole airline business has suddenly literally dropped out of the sky. So it'll be interesting to see what our future world hold, holds in terms of travel. Like, we can time travel in almost instant time across the world from California over to the centre of Germany and sometimes down to the south of France and whatever, through England and Ireland. It's lovely. And at the same time, we're still a long way away from each other. So let's start off with Nancy Spain. We're playing this open, all right? A little bit of information before we go, since we're talking about uh, lifespans of houses. So the average lifespan of a house in the UK is 75 years. In Japan, it's 25 years. For what? 25 years is the average lifespan of a house in Japan, and it's 75 years in England, okay? All right. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Not much good if you have a 30-year mortgage, is it? Think okay. about every five, 25 years your house gets replaced, and you still have five years to and pay And Willie off. Pierce says that Dolores Kane had a lovely version of Where Have All the Flowers Gone. Well, yeah, I mean, Dolores Kane went at her best. Gorgeous, gorgeous singer, gorgeous singer. All right, so we're on an anti spin. Play it all. Of all the stars that never shine, one is a twinkle like your pale blue eyes. Like golden corn, it harvests time your hair. Sailing in my boat, the wind gently blows and fills my sail. Sun in the sky is like your love. Come back to me, my Nancy. Linger here for just a little while. Since you've left these shores, I've known no peace or joy. No matter where I wander, I'm still haunted by your name. The portrait of your beauty. Standing by the ocean, wondering where you've gone if you return again. For is the ring I gave to Nancy Spain? Oh, on the day is spring, the snow starts to melt and streams to flow. Over wild flowers grow, and 
and I hope my love green and sea will return. No matter where I wander, I still haunted by your name. The portrait of your beauty stays the same. Standing by the ocean, wondering where you've gone. So I noticed uh, Ray Bourne, how are you over in Cooley there? Um, I just said, enjoy cheating. Or did Ray Charles sing? I don't know, Ray. That's what sort of thought I had in my own mind. Maybe someone else has an idea about it there. But just I know Ray's with the Cooley men's uh, <coughs> shed. Uh, and, you know, I know I posted or I shared this stream afterwards. Again, if you're minded at all to share this stream to anybody you know who may be interested in, a bit of diversion as we call it and a bit of a sing-along at this time please do so but i share it often afterwards with the uh, irish men's sheds facebook group etc and i know a number of guys like it etc there but if you're listening guys i mean i'd really encourage you during this period if you've ever had an instrument or played it even a lot of people say oh, look at it we met a woman today driving she was driving past us and she said oh how are you be listening to your uh live stream Eileen how are you Eileen and uh, hello Eileen through there so but she was just you know I tried to take the guitar before and I went into Letter Kenny and Umbers for about six weeks in a row and then I just give up and I would say look at this is a great opportunity we're here every single evening at seven o'clock for about 90 minutes using the words and the, and the uh, chords on screen myself and Mary sang along the good thing about it we're we're we're, we're at best average mm. in terms of not making you feel that like you couldn't play along with this. And the other thing is that, you know, at the moment we're taking, say, three songs and we're doing it repeatedly to give you the opportunity to play along. And some people are saying, well, you know, I, I, I can't follow all the chords or whatever. So we'll follow the ones you can and just join in at the bits you can. And the other thing is if there's a particular song you like, you can just play this video back repeatedly because the great thing, you don't have to go and look for the chords. The chords are there in front of you. And you can do so. So I, I, I would love to think that when the men's sheds get back into operation, that they could enjoy that simple, bring an instrument along around a cup, over a cup of tea or something, have a bit of I chat. think that was a really good tip that was given to me by, what do you call that man in Dundalk who came to the house one day when I was trying to learn to play the uh, ukulele? Uh, just from down the road. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely man. Really good musician. Aidan's father, Aidan Garvey's father. Aidan Garvey's father. Mick Garvey, Mick, yeah. yeah. So Mick, yeah. Mick says... Mary, don't worry. Like if you miss one, if you miss one chord, don't worry about it. Just go on to the next one. Mm. And I think that was so useful because when you when you can't play a chord, you, you feel a failure. But that really impacted on me. So what what Anya said, Anya Anya New York from London says, Nancy Spain is one of my all time favorites. So happy to be listening to it every night. Nancy in uh, Nancy in Nashville says, lovely song, first time to hear it. Oh. No, Nancy, that's another Nancy song. And again, it's a song, maybe you're, you're someone who's a tin whistle or something, and it's certainly you can, you can play it as a key of G, mm -hmm. so you could probably play along in a C whistle or maybe well, a Nancy, D whistle. Well, Nancy has a ukulele and a guitar. Yeah, so. And Chuck there has And a you guitar. know, again, I think for people who say to me that it's nice to listen to this because you can sing along and play, try harmonies, etc. Willie Pierce said the other night he tried the harmony in a song, so a lovely opportunity to do it. And again, my admiration for Ray Atchison and Keith Paddy, Beefy Burton and, and Fergus Tui who record themselves and put it up and it just shows what this can be. Anyway, the next song we're going on to again is the um is the uh the, the town I love so well. And again just to say that very important we said that in, in terms of uh what we're trying to do here is find a, a key in which Mary and I can sing it reasonably comfortably that it's not too high or too low. So the chords that were in the book we're in the key of G, which I found a little bit too high. So we've, I just restructured those chords. And again, it's not a problem for you to sing along because you can just see them in front of us. But we're playing that with the capo. We're playing the chords, everything you see in front of you, but the capo in, in fret position too, all right? Phil Coulter, Phil Coulter uh, wrote this song. So this song is about the town of, uh, the city of yeah. Derry which is in County Derry in the uh, in the north of Ireland. It's the adjacent county to where we are on now. Again, probably just to show people 
you, you may not be from, you know, so if you're not Irish, just to give you an idea, um, that's the island of Ireland here, and you can see that Northern Ireland is a different political entity, and but the interesting Northern Ireland is not necessarily the north of Ireland. I mean, you might see a little bit of a border, and the little blue spot up where we are, that's a, that big county up there is called County Donegal. So Northern Ireland, uh, you know, so this county that we're in is, is cut off almost from mm. the rest of, this, of the Republic of Ireland. But up there is where you see Derry, London there. So again, for too long, I think what they call it Stroke City because, and the word Stroke City comes from the fact that in order to try and get people to stop killing each other over their, their allegiances to whatever, some days they started calling this London Derry Stroke uh, Derry. Derry. It's mm. all very, very hard to, I suppose we were raised to call it Derry and that's what we call it. But uh, So this is a, uh, I suppose, a song by Phil Coulter, a reflection on the growing damage up. and uh, yeah. growing up in, well, the, first, in the troubles in such a place. The first right, three verses are about growing up and the last two verses are about the troubles. Now somebody wrote, it is the one song that came out of, you know, troubles that both Catholics and Protestants can sing. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not in any way partisan, but it does it sort of looks back on on Derry when it was a, a textile city where so many were short factories etc. And that in the nature of that type of work, much of the remunerated work was carried out by women. So there was an awful lot of men unemployed, which the the, the song describes. And of course, that that world is gone for a long time. It was since replaced by some high tech industries like Seagate therefore they're all gone now. So, you know, Derry is not the city it was before. Um and again it was the city that during the Second World War and the latter half it uh, there was an awful lot of American uh, air air people there because mm. of American air base, etc. there. So interesting hit city. Anyway, we're singing it in campo position too, too. in the chords uh, as you see them in front of you. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we do and join in. In my man
turned how my eyes they were born to see how a town could be brought to its knees by the armored cars and the bombed out bars and the gas that hangs on to every And the damn barbed wire gets higher and higher With their fangs and their guns Oh my God, what have they done To the town I love so well Oh, is that down just the music? No, the music's gone, but they carry on. For the spirit's been free, never broken. Though they'll not forget, but their hearts are set on tomorrow and peace once again. For what's done. It's lost, is lost and gone forever. I can only pray for a bright, brand new day for the town I love so well. Hi, ah, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely song. So I hope you enjoyed that again. Just to remind people that. I've changed those chords from the way they were. I'll just go back to, as I say, if I look at them up in the in book one. So again, I have all these books there in Adobe Acrobat that I'm using as the app on the iPad. Um, and in the in book one, where we had them, the town I love so well was somewhere down here. Uh, 402, so it's... Seven... Maria Fordham wants to so know. So again, I had those in the key of G there, and I just modified all of those to be in the key of D. But it's important, we'd like you to try and think of this book as a, res a repository and resource where the chords and the keys are there, but with a capo, you can change the pitch or using the, the little um, grid on the front of the book uh, where you can transform the keys. And that's why for a lot of people, I mean, hundreds of people who have hard copies of the book now, so they can write their own little personal notes on them and their own notes which suit their own voice, etc. It was kind of handy to have. So the last song in this triumvirate of the songs that we're doing is um, Song for Ireland, I think. So while Mary's just talking Nancy about Nancy Spain, Ireland. Maria, or Nancy Spain, and from Clarity here. She's wondering if we'll play from Clarity here one of these nights. Uh, okay. Reminds her of her days in Luton. Great time memories of heading down to the Galtimore and listening to a local band called Dingle Spike. So she wants to know if we will do Claire one of the nights. Kathy Anderson wants a recipe for the burn bread and Anya New York says she would like that and she hadn't appreciated how far north Guidor is. There are places even farther north, Anya and Donny Colin here. Um, Paul Flaherty, lovely song. Such a powerful song, um, the town I love so well. Sean Farrington, hello from West Wicklow, enjoying the sing-along. Anya says, love, love you singing that song. So we hope that, I mean, the, 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 the exercise we're trying at the moment, look at, like, you know, we can try lots of ideas in this space that we have together, but it's about creating a sense that if people set themselves the aspiration, I'm going to learn how to play these songs. They'll always be available to you because you have the PDFs and somebody may have the books, etc. But if people meet up in any case when all of this is over and we're meeting that, you know, Owen has a very easy entry into a dialogue where we have commonality. Mm. That's really what it's about. So this third song... Um, By the way, before I go, I think, it, I think it was Natalie who asked for the song um, The Tan I Love So Well. And I have a feeling somebody else asked for that also. Yeah, sorry now about that. So again, I said last night, there, uh, uh, this, there are more chord changes than this there are on the previous song, etc. But don't let that put you off. 
Mary said, if you miss a chord, just move on to the next one. And what you'll realize after a number of days singing this, this, it all seems, initially the chord chains seem very fast and they will seem slower the more you do it. That's the important thing. So Ruth Cleary asked for this song. So if you're listening, Ruth, this is for you. Walking, we're playing it open, yeah. by the way. Walking all the day Near tall towers where falcons build their Silver wing they fly, they know the call of freedom in their breasts. Saw black head against the sky with twisted rocks that run down to the sea. Living on your western saw summer sunsets as for more I stood by your Atlantic sea sang a song for Ireland talking all the day with true friends who tried to make you stay Telling jokes and news, singing songs to pass the night away. Watch the Galway salmon run like silver dancing, darting in the sun. Living on your western shore, saw summer sunsets as for more. Stood by your Atlantic sea, sang a song for Ireland. Drinking all the day in all the pubs where fiddlers love to play. Someone touched the bar, he played. Summer sunsets as for more. I stood by your Atlantic sea, sang a song for Ireland. Dreaming in the night, I saw a land where no man had to fight. Waking in down. I saw you crying in the morning light Lying where the falcons fly They twist and turn all in your every sky Oh, living on your western shore Saw summer sunsets as for more sunsets here but do you remember that lovely sunset a couple of years ago down in where was it Nadine yeah, Nadine or Ken Mayer Ken Mayer and County Kerry my goodness it was magical and in fact for the next number oh. we were travelling around for the next number of nights after that people we met around uh, the West Cork and Kerry coastline South Kerry they, they, they marvelled because they had all seen this like that it was just the whole sky was completely crimson hundreds of people down at the harbour down in Nadine uh, watching it lovely mm. why don't we sing Nadine now that you mentioned we have Mary for Simons hello Mary so we have the song you? Nadine in here Mary I said think. beautiful song she loves that song so we haven't tried you're welcome better. Mary you're all so welcome interesting we're so the, word, mm. the word Nadine and again I suppose this song I would have heard from my 
I would have heard Mary Black, I think, sing this song. That's my memory of it. And uh, But the word Nadine actually relates to, we'll have a look at it in a map again if you're not from Ireland, or even if you are from Ireland, you know. So there again is our little map. And we're up at the top left-hand side up here. And Willie Pierce is way down here in Wexford. And we have Joe Cain sitting in there in Ratoth. Ratoth, show where Ratoth is there in County Meath. You know, Ray is somewhere up here in the mid-north or just around this area along here. But anyway, down at the bottom here is uh, a place called... Kenmare. You know, so it's interesting. So you see these little inlets down here, in our, uh, it, it, down at the bottom here, what? these uh, inlets, and you have a place called Sneem and Kenmare. A beautiful name. So it's interesting, it, it, you know, it's, uh, just to say to you, right down there uh, is where we were. If I just zoom right in there... The Seafair Equine Agency. It was on that pier and just on a slipway there that we took these magnificent photographs. I Let's put them up by you tomorrow, Joel. I have them up in Google I think we photos. stayed along there, didn't we, in the motorhome? Oh, yeah, that's as right. Well. We, we, we stayed just there in a the motorhome there, I think. But uh, but Ken Mare is in, in Irish just is known sure. as Nadine. There's no connect, so there's no connectivity between the names. Just show where Mary Clarkin is because Mary, Mary doesn't say she's there, but she's there quite a bit. Mary okay, at the so, moment so is. Whether down you're listening or not, Mary, you're. you're west of Skibbereen. So, and Margaret. Well, Skibbereen's a good bit away from that, Mary. What? Skibbereen's a good bit away from that. From where Mary is? No, from where Ken Mary is. Oh, I know, is. but just to show where Mary is as well. Okay, so Mary, there you are. You're down here in Roaring Water Bay beside a place called Hare Island. See that? Yeah. lovely name, Hare Island. They're just and on this just, road here coming down. So we just the... little wee, there's a, a little harbour in there. A little harbour right in there. So... Anyway, that's anyway. where we've had some lovely sing songs. So Nadine has said the important thing. So this song is about Nadine for for some. Now, of course, I know there was a lot of controversy a number of years ago about whether the town should be called Nadine or Ken Mayer. And a lot of the arguments related to whether foreigners would recognise the name. And you, you know, on the other hand, you go to islands like Corfu and they write the name in the Greek language and you get to know whatever it is, etc. But anyway, the word Nadine's beautiful. This is interesting. Louis Brown says they only have sunrise, sunrises in Suffolk. So they can't really see the sun setting. So we have both sunrises, beautiful ones, and fabulous sunsets here. We might play it up to. Yes. Well, we try it up. We try it in position two, capo position two. Beautiful song, lovely chorus in this. Uh, right, so capo position two, just as the chords are seated. As I leave behind me, it's like the bubbles washed on me. My soul is strangely there. Rhododendrons in the 
your head in the mountain sandy land. I still feel her spirit song across the silver sea. Won't you remember? Black is the one I remember saying that I think uh, The Furies uh, I think it might have been Jimmy McCarthy who wrote that song Who said The Furies? Uh, Paul Flaherty says The Furies did a great version Oh, that's interesting um, So, let's see uh, So the song I was passed when I, when I was looking through these songs that Mary put them up there then I just, as I was, the great thing about shooting through this book is um, you see songs and uh, and they say, God, that's another song we never got to sing or whatever. So there are beautiful songs here. There's a lovely one, mm. Houston. Um, oh, yeah, Houston's And a uh, lovely song to sing, but where is we this put that one? We should put that on for tomorrow night. I think it's so. Oh, yes. So again, so who sang this song, guys? Her father didn't like me anyway. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Jerry, R Jerry Rafferty is the one I, for me, comes up on my mind. Jerry Rafferty. Other people have sung it. Jim McCann might have sung it. I'm sure it's <laughs> the Furies, whatever. But I think it was Jerry Rafferty, I think. I think it was the one I heard singing it. And Jim, Jerry Rafferty of Baker Street. His, or at least he sang it. The big hit he had, Baker Street. So you can sing this song with gusto. So uh, we're playing it open, all right? So hope you, I presume many of you will remember the song. So please sing along with us and play along if you can. And again, if you find a song, say, no, it really, this one I'd like to get down and like to remember. So just to sign it and we can take it off as one of those three songs we'll do every night. You know, we're going to continue the, the three we're having at half seven every night, but we'll come in and do these, to uh, pick up other songs. Jim there. McCann, Jim McCann. The cold she was to lies upon the bed The book I gave her that she never read She left without a single word to say But her father didn't like me anyway She always wanted more she wasn't happy with the way we were I could have felt like asking her to stay But her father didn't like me Talked, he might have seen something in me, but daddy didn't really care. Oh, to tell the truth, I didn't have learned. I know I've only got what I deserve, but now she's taking leave of me today. Father didn't like me anyway. Daddy never knew just what she saw in me. Her daddy didn't like my hair. Perhaps if we'd have talked, he might have seen something in me. But daddy. If 
father did like me anyway. Uh, no. So that's a. It was written by Jerry Rafferty, who was in a group called the Humble Bums. The Humble Bums. With yeah. Billy Connolly, okay. That's right, yeah. oh. It's funny when we we saw the Furies without um without both Davy Arthur and Finbar, the rest of the Furies. Uh, what uh, what's uh, Eddie? Eddie? Eddie was the lead yeah, man. A couple yeah. of, we met them sort of about two or three years ago here, and uh, you know what I loved about it was their storytelling, an amazing, amazing storytelling. But mm. you know these guys were around a long time, <laughs> starting in the sixties, and they were saying that. Um, Eddie was saying that uh, he went off to London, I think, when he was 14 or 15 years of age, and he was in Dunleary, and his mother was taking him off to the boat, and they went to a cafe for a cup of tea and a bag of chips or something before they went, and all sorts of pangs of loss and remorse and everything else, and mother was sobbing, crying to see him go and everything else, and Eddie was feeling so bad and so homesick already. He said, no, I think I'll change my mind. I'll, I'll go back home. And he says, no, your, your room's gone already. <laughs> And yeah. then they said they went over to Glasgow and they were walking around and they saw these two boys walking along with guitars in their bags and they followed them into a pub somewhere and the boys were up at the bar and they went up and introduced themselves to them and who was it but Jerry Rafferty and uh, Billy Connolly. Mm. And uh, the, the, the Eddie and the brother told them they didn't know what to say that night so they, uh, Billy Connolly said, you come and stay with me and he said, we stayed with him for a year and a half and we played along with him. Stay for a couple of nights, it's like, come on. So uh, the if, next song I want to do is Follow Me Up to Carlo. Uh, but if ever you have the opportunity to go and see them, and no, Anya says, uh, well, she loved that song and she's completely forgotten about it, the last song. Yeah, Yeah. so um, I just wonder what this one's like here. Is this open or something? Up on three, I played this earlier on. Like, I, I, I love this song. It's, there's a, a friend from Toronto, Karen Dows, who taught us a number of songs, but... Um, she sings the song quite differently, but I suppose I have a particular memory. For me, I would remember Planksy singing this song and the and the, the vibe in the song. So I hope in some way we can repeat it. So we're playing this in position three and the capo in position yeah. three. Oh, lift my cater over your face. Brew it in our the old disgrace. Black Fitz Williams, don't your place. Drove you to the fair. Said Victor, be the sure soon the fire ran heat secure till he met a tender the beat not give a rain. Curse and swear, Lark and there, be it will do, the beat will there. Lord Fitzwilliam, have a care, fallen is your star low. Up with Halbert, out with song. To the Lord, there flows a stream of Saxon gore and great as a Rory, oh, oh, no. It's in the Deludies, a Haddy, white the sick, and great as bad. Now for Black Fitzwilliam's head, we'll send the Dover to Benaret, the Queen Liza and her ladies. Oh, curse and swear, Lark is there, Fleet will do. Is given the word, follow 
me up with you. Follow me up with you. Follow me up with you. Follow. I love that song. I suppose um, I must have heard that song. I said for it, Watson Planks in nineteen seventy three. But I yeah, also the thing I loved about it was the um. It's not a lovely set of words. A rooster of a fighting stock. Wouldn't you let a Saxon cock crow out upon an Irish rock? Fly up and teach him manners. And the other one there, white is sick and laying is fled. And then now for Black Fitzwilliam's head, we'll send it over dripping red to Queen Liza and her lip. Isn't it very... Um, Colourful, let's say. Yeah. It's very colourful uh, Roy stuff. Roy Atchison you is know? watching. Nancy is with us again. It's real um, Ben Hurst of yeah, uh, what do you Nan call her? Gladiator or. Yeah, it is really. What do you call the other from Mel Gibson and that uh, Braveheart stuff? Real yeah, Braveheart yeah. sort of stuff. Oh, and yes, it's great, great trad song. Nationalist has loved it. Nancy is still watching with us. Well, so that's for Sean for Farrington there from the Wicklow, I think from the men's shed down there. Yeah. Not too far south of you there in the in the men's shed or from the for, about Carlo. But again I keep thinking for anybody in the men's sheds there I know in our men's shed here in Guidor not a lot of the boys are familiar they, you know they haven't been used to singing songs like this. Like our, our, I believe our some of them are from a younger generation but I think years and years and years of just having mp3s and everything online everything stream and sent to you it helps people forget how to just sing with their own voice and just accept their voices are as they are and they're all just sync and unique and and all of the rest um what, what do we so have? we have oh, the, a, irish we're, we're, the irish, the irish rover in there. let's have a go with the irish uh, rover yeah fourteen thousand steps do? yeah that's fine i don't mind or is there a different one anybody want the irish rover so anyway, mm. we will, uh, I'll just, I'm just going through this book here now. And I'll do, 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 do. We seem to be out for hours today, but do, we've do, only do. done 14, 15,000 steps. So, um... There's a nice song. What about Dream in My Dreams? Dream in My Dreams, yeah. We'll do that first. That's a, that's a lovely song again. Again, Finbar Fury did a beautiful job of this song, as originally did uh, the beautiful rasping voice of um, Marianne Faithful. Mm. Want to see where they're playing. I hope, I hope. Kathy is with us. Kathy is. Uh, somebody asked for li uh, Lion Eyes, so we'll do that one of these nights as well. Jeez, I'm trying to find a chord. So the problem I often have is finding the, the uh, is the octave they're singing it. Actually, you know what? This is a very good one because uh, there's so few uh, chord changes in it for the ukulele players. I just think feel that's a bit high for it me. Does, it does seem a bit high over there, but I think I don't know what's. Hold on, I'll just try something here. Sorry about this, folks. Be patient. You can give us a filler in there, Mary. Be patient. We haven't gone away. Uh, we're also going to do because it's Sunday or whatever, and because of the times that are in it, we're going to do "We Shall Overcome" as well this evening. We'll try it. We'll try it in a bit. Well, I hope. And I won't be as wrong anymore. Maybe I've learned this time. I hope that I find what I'm reaching for. The way that it is in my mind. So. See 
I find now again I find that a bit high so I'm going to try something if we were to switch down to just as an exercise guys because we have talked about again I just want to show you the importance of when we put these books together it's not that what we're doing is an error or mistakes if you want songs and to be able to sing them to suit all the different voices and the different keys and pitches that they're in it's very difficult to determine that a range that people feel comfortable so at the front of both of our books you have this little table here which enables you to, if you take a row, a row, for example, there are five rows there, and the first one is A, and then C, then D and G, A and blue, C and red, D and green, and G and red. And then as you move across the columns, they're the typical chords that you will use in any key. So if we produce a song in a particular key, you can what's called transpose or interchange uh, any key for another key. Once you take, for example, if you take the changing a key a song from the key of G to the key of D every time you see an A minor you change it to an E minor every time you see a C you change it to a G every time you see an E minor that's the one in red you turn it to an e, a B minor in green and you can write them in in the book or whatever so it allows you to modify those but in songs such as this where there are only three chords G C and D um, we're going to, I'm just going to change that to the key of, I'm going to just change to the key of D and just see how it hands like. I hope that I won't be that wrong anymore. So I would find out, G I found is too high. So if I wanted to sing, and I think if I were to sing it three semitones down, I feel it would sound much better for me. I wouldn't be screaming at the top end. So what I'm going to do is, three semitones down is if you count back um, from G, one, two semitones down, G goes back to F sharp is one semitone, then down to F is two semitones, and down to E is three semitones. Uh, again, if, if this sounds a bit technical for you, just, I mean, just leave that as it is, and I just accept that if I were to play that in the key of E, it would be much more comfortable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the chords from the key of D, and play them two up in the the, the fret or the capo in fret position two. So if you just put the capo in fret position two, mm. and I'll just show you how, because I think it'd be nice for me to realise that. So there's nothing wrong with necessarily the way they're in the book. I mean, they just it suit different voice at different times. And if you had a physical copy of the book, you might just get it in with a pencil and you'd write the the chords for the key that suits you on top of it. So the 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 chords any a G will become a D. A D will become an A and a C will become a G. So I'll just call them out. So I'll just, I'll try the first verse. Oh, I hope that I won't be that wrong anymore. Maybe I've learned this time. I hope that I find what I'm reaching for. The way that it is in Sing it, just, just, just play along with me for this. I'll call the chord. Yeah. I'll D that I won't be that wrong anymore. Stay on D. Maybe I've learned this time. I'll hope that I won't be that range. Hope that I find what I'm reaching for. We're switching over to A. Better in that. 
it's better. Yeah, it's better. It suits, look, better. the important point about this, it, it suits Mary and I better. This for you, if you want to go and learn these songs or practice them, find use the book and you know, uh, if you have a hard copy of the book, just write in whatever it suits you. If you have a soft copy and if you're used to editing or annotating documents in PDF, uh, do that. But I, my my sense is it's much it's a much better emotional feeling when you're singing a song and you're enjoying the mm. pitch in which it works for you. In general, it seems to work. Mary and I seem to complement each other in the, in in the where we sing along in terms of the the range of of keys you could be singing in. So we've got Lucia from Enfield. Um, she she belongs to that group in Trim. You might let us know what's happening in your ukulele group, Lucia. Sheila McMahon is here from Dundalk. Willie Pierce is with us. That's good. And Louis Brown is here from Suffolk. So stay with us. And uh, we've now got what? What else have we got? I was just passing that song. I said, Why don't we try this? <coughs> Rod Stewart. <coughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, try it open. I can tell by your eyes that you've probably been crying forever. So we'll try it two up and see, right? Right? Hang on. We'll try, it, try it two up, guys, and you'll see it. Uh... I can tell by your eyes. thinking about that song last night late sure. after we finished it I looked out I was taking a dog out late last night and I looked in the massive magic sky <laughs> and uh, again oh. I don't know there was no moon there last night but again a beautiful beautiful um, sky full of stars there last night that song just popped into my head Louis, Louis, Brown, Louis, Louis Brown says there's an amazing synergy between you two dot 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 sometimes <laughs> 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 you should see us off off, camera, off peace off, as off the camera. fella says yeah. off peace he gets peaced he gets peaced with me 
There's the song Mary asked me about. Was, we we sang a song in Irish last night. One of the uh, little soon trees, and here's another type of soon tree. I think as well. Um, again, I think I might have heard Noreen Nolini Colla singing this song in the past. But again, this is a song I remember from my childhood. Um, I'm not sure that Mary knows it very well, or otherwise. Well, I know that I know the chorus anyway, so I know some. some. I'm not sure if it's just. It was. I might have lifted up one, see. Oh. Let me try with one up and see. There's a lovely uh, chorus in there. Diego, be quiet. Um, so again, just listen to the phonetics of it rather than anything else. But I keep thinking all these Oro songs, you know what Oro means, but it sounds all, just sounds great. Listen to that. I can think of um, I can almost see the uh, the Curax Joe going jumpity 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 them over the waves. But the other thing you can imagine singing a lullaby to a, a child, a child in a beautiful language, you know. I guess the rare mara kavog kuk she hyok kuk she lum, you know, as she in in the sense of when you're uh, swaying the child in your arms like that. that you go with the flow of the child's movement and invite the child to sleep. But the other thing I love about the song, in the way in which I interpret them, is that the, you can see in that song, the voying machalin das, that word after the B minor. The, the, in Irish, be, uh, because you have a an O there, what's an O, a vowel, then the next term, the next word takes a, in the old Irish they call it a shave or a H, so it's a chalin, the ch, ch. And in that word after the next BM, the, the yadi, yadi, but and then the machorok, so there's guttural sounds. So that's why, Natalie, when I hear those words in German, I love the, 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 the I don't know if you call it gutter, a very distinct uh, sound in them, but that's what I love. You know, for example, the vermara vug kig she chuk kig she lum in this one here, and then in the verse, it's actually. Uh, it says in the ver mara vug hok she hok hok she lum. So one is a future tense and the other is a conditional tense. I don't know much about me grammar, but I, I think there's something magic about the sounds that are but there the, the, that attract me. I just want Anya's, Anya's relearning Irish at the moment in London online. So there was something you have like Colleen. Where do you have Colleen there? No. CH, you have mm. a CH. I, I actually think that we don't use that in Connemara. I think you use like 
A for the I L I for the N or something like that. Oh, and you, you can let us know. Yeah, I mean, look at I'm not, you know, my Irish grammar is a long way from co cog and my leaving serve. Um, but anyway. So anyway. Paul Flaherty says, remember that song from my childhood. Haven't heard it in ages. Yeah, well, that's what I say, Paul. I had this sense that I keep thinking one of the projects I'd like to be involved in. You know, you talk about the change in the world. But, and this is since Mary and I got involved in this, Mel Kjolding, I had this lovely idea that if we could find sets and numbers of those uh, baby oriented song there's an there's another song somewhere maybe have it in the third <laughs> book uh, now I, I would love to find a way of putting all those books into a canoe or a collection but also i have a sense that in 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 england and uh, in italy and spain and all these countries that there are songs which have the same impact on babies and they were always sung to babies when they were small and I think in this modern era where we're putting um, devices into cots with chil children to give them circadian rhythms to send them to sleep I was watching something last night and some kids there with a, a, a phone and they're putting sounds of waves to send them to sleep and he says what was wrong with singing these magical songs that are coming from the voices of their own parents Natalie wants to know what is a curruck so Natalie a curruck is it's like a soft boat. We probably have a picture of one here somewhere. And it's kind of um, peculiar to the west of Ireland. It's made of um, maybe ash or some sort of wood like that. And it's covered with um, a canvas type covering. And then that is tarred afterwards. And it's, it's, it's seaworthy. Um, you know, in the past, certainly, the men would go out, way out to sea in these very light boats. So, so just a couple of pictures of what a curragh might look like. Um, my uh, uncles used to build I'll show you this own. picture here because I suppose one of the reasons that Mary picks up on that. See that picture there? That, well, we just take this one here. So that's the general shape of curragh. Uh, it's a very lightly built frame that's in there of ash and covered with a skin of canvas, which is then... Painted with um, tar, tar or yeah, pitch, pitch or tar. tar. But the most important thing, but they were such that they could be carried by one or two men. And what Mary often describes I is that when you see the type of picture that you see there now, it almost looks like a beetle. Is not that what you keep saying, Mary? Beg your pardon. This it's like a beetle, yeah. Here. But actually, sometimes you'll see even more than two carrying a curragh, and it just like it's like little legs of a beetle underneath. So what they have and then in that case there now that's a that's a curragh with a lot of uh, now that would be a, I think that's probably because I see that Death of Sailor Port Danny Sheehy and in in Kerry so there are different shapes of curraghs were built around the country in Ireland I think that's probably more like what's called a neve boat someone might correct me down in the southwest and then you might have these type of boats here. Uh, we've taken Mary and I have taken some fantastic photographs like this, and that's not ours. We must take them some night. But there's done in in uh, in, Renville, Conum, Renville, in, Car in, in in Renville in yeah. Connemara, Just which beside is, the Renville Hotel, which is somewhere down, down here in, in yeah. beside Clifton, along here. Uh, Just past there. Well, it's up I'd, here, isn't it? It's, it's in, out here, but go up right, so it's uh, in Renville. here. It's in there go somewhere. to Tully Cross and then go left. Anyway, it's somewhere in that area. I can't really see. So it's it. out here. It's out here, Renville Hotel. Where? Yeah. Well, it's somewhere out here. Do you remember there was a the thing out? I'm just surprised there's no. Um, I think that might be the point there. You know, uh, do you remember? Where but we you can see in, in West West Galway there anyway. So we've seen some beautiful pictures of of there. So so Joe King gives a very good description. Actually, he said it's a wooden framed boat traditionally found in the west of Ireland. It's quite light, quite light. And actually, we have photographs of our skew bone of ours called the men's shed here, but uh, some of the guys in there have been renovating uh, curricks, some that were in their families for, for generations, and they've been renovating them in the shed. So we have a lot of photographs of uh, work like that being done. Some kind of must, might try and leverage that into these uh, sessions here. Mm -hmm. um, so, Joe, uh, so Louis Brown says, why do 99% of Irish English sing in the mid-Atlantic accent? <laughs> I suppose some of us have gone out too far. Because we've listened, we've listened to the uh, 
to the songs. Well, Mary, and, Mary uh, spent mm. her, her teen years in American school, yeah. and then I sent them in Ireland, so as a seller, we met. So, Eileen says we went too far out into the Atlantic. <laughs> we swam too far out into the Atlantic. Thank you for explaining, Natalie says. And it's not, it's C U R R A C H, Natalie. Let's try this song here, a bit of fun, right? P stands for Paddy, I suppose. And we play it with the capo in position one. One, one, wait till I get it there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, P stands for Paddy. Hang on, let me start again. Oh, P stands for Paddy, I suppose. J for Ryan and John. And O for you stands for Falter and Willie O. Johnny is the fairest man. Me Johnny is the fairest man. Johnny is the fairest man Sure I don't care what anybody says Johnny is the fairest man I saw he went out upon a wee lawn To take a pleasant walk I sat myself down by an old stone wall To hear two lovers talk To hear two lovers talk me boys Hear what they might say So I might know a little about love song in my handwritten songbook from the early the early 80s do you know that what about no, um, I think we should do what about Patrick's arrival uh, well okay Mary said ah did you hear that no no it's okay I don't mind <laughs> what was the ah for I don't what was mind the ah for? as long ah. as I get to pick another one afterwards alright have you got one no. in mind no 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 you so go you on may, look no, this is a sample this. of the songs that are in this book and um that can open up a bit as well because it's uh I'm not sure that anyway. Yeah, that's better. That's up, that's up, that's up. <clears throat> so this is the the ballad of St. Patrick. It's called Patrick's Arrival. I always think it as the ballad of St. Patrick. So it's the story of our fa uh, what do you call him, our patron saint. He, he came to Ireland and he got rid of all of the um, snakes. The the, vermin, we don't have any vermin. snakes in Ireland. And the, the words in this are gorgeous. The, the way you wrap your mouth around these words is amazing. But I wonder could we call them back and get rid of the old virus? It'd be a great job altogether. You've heard of St. Dennis of France, he never had much for to brag on. You've heard of St. George and his lands. 
Now he killed the old heathenish dragon The saints of the Welsh and the Scots are a They're now a pitiful pipers Might just as well go to Pat When compared to the patron of vipers To Patrick of Ireland, my dear Well, he sailed to the Emerald Isle On the lump of a paved stone mountain He bent the steamboat by a mile Wash down the muddy gloves, wash you, drink that is fit for a saint. And then you take a breath after each one. He preached then with wonderful force, the ignorance natives the teaching, with wine washed down each discord. For says he, I detest your dry preaching, the people in wonder and struck. It's a pastor so pious and civil, exclaimed, We're for you, the old book. We'll heave our blind gods to the devil who dwells in hot water below. Well, this finished our worshipful man went to visit the most elegant fellow whose practice each cool afternoon was to get most delightfully mellow. The day with the barrel of beer he was drinking away with the band and says, Patrick, it's grand to be here. I don't know they've been drink nothing to speak of in land. So give me a pull from your pot. Well, he, well, where do we go? Where do we go? Well, he lifted the pewter in sport. Believe me, I tell you, it's no fable. A gallon he drank from the quart and left it back full on the table. Miracle, everyone cried, and they all took a pull on the sting. Oh, they were mighty good hands at their trade, and they drank till they fell yet by jingle. The pot it still flawed all the brim. And the next day. So, next day said the host, it's a fast, and I've nothing to eat but cold mutton. On Fridays, who'd make such repast, except an unmerciful glutton. Pat, stop this nonsense, I beg what you tell me. It's nothing but gammon. When the horse he brought down the lamb's leg, Pat ordered it torn into salmon, and the leg most politely complied. Well, you heard, I suppose, long ago, that the snakes and the man were most antic. He marched to the county Mayo and ordered them all into the Atlantic. Let's never drink water to Finally, he was as fine of a man as you'd made from fair head to kill crumper. No wonder the sod he is laid, let's all drink to his health in a bumper. Wish he was haired at my glass, he might by art magic replenish. Since he is not by a lad, the old song it must come to a finish, because all of the drink it is gone. <laughs> No, I mean, if you ever wanted to sing that. a song, which in what? my view completely captures the sense of the Hiberno-Celtic version of the English language, look at the words there, you know, and Pat says, you know, again, to explain if you're not of the uh, vernacular religion and upbringing in Ireland, next day, he said it was a fa it was a fat, and they said the host is a fast, and that would have been because it was a Friday. So typically when we were growing up, in the Catholic religion, on Fridays you didn't eat meat and you only had fish. So the host said, I've nothing but cold mutton. So that'd be older, uh, an adult sheep, a dead sheep. And, uh, you know, who would have this except, um, you know, a glutton, you know, an, you know, an unmerciful glutton is the only person. And said, Pat, Pat said, no, I'm leaving, leave it. He says, what you're talking about is nothing but gammon. It's just a, a piece of meat, meat. Well, gammon would be uh, pig meat. And he said, when when the host he brought down the lamb's leg, Pat ordered it turned at the salmon, which was fish. But I love this. And the leg most politely complied. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, the Queen's English there. And the other words in here, I wish he were here that my glass, he might by art magic replenish. So anyway, I, I just have always oh, loved that song. I, I love the language song. in that too. So Maria, Maria Fordham says, Maria from Bedford, never heard this one. 
good of St. Patrick, such fun. On in your work says, great fun. I didn't know how you did that so well. Louis but Bratton. you know, I think about that song, just to say, that's why I think these books are wonderful. And because to me, uh, listen to the people who sung those songs, it's really all about wrapping your mouth around the words. You really, I, I think when pick, Christy Moore talks about singing, his eyes are closed and he's painting pictures on his eyes, on the inside of his eyelids. And when I'm singing a song, like you gotta be there with the boys, savages, you know. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, but I can I can get into the mood with those guys when you sing. And the diction and the clarity of diction, mm. I think it's really important about that. So Otherwise, you never get through the song. Romelis is By the way, you should hear Phil the Fluter's Ball. We'll do that. Ro we will. Romelis, uh, and the other one is... Uh, What's only one? She stepped in and I stepped out again. Uh, Lannigan's Ball. No, no we're, not gonna do, we're not no, going to do it tonight. We're going to do the song? night visiting song. Right, okay. Oh, no, no, can I said no, Candle in the Wind. Uh, so Lou, no, Rome Ellis, tell us what you thought of that song, Rowan. Had you heard it before? Louis Brown says, "I like snakes," and "Swamp Snake" by the sensational Alex Harvey band is rather good. That's how they say it in England: rather good. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> anyway, learn that song, Louis. Kathy Anderson says, "Well done." We we'll play this in capo one on in the key of G. Uh, Elton John's um, Mary wants to sing that uh, candle in the wind. So we hope you enjoy this. We'll have uh, we'll have our last song after this. Again, yeah. a couple of the hours just flies. That magic. Join in, folks. Capo uh, position one. Goodbye, Norma Jean. Though I never knew at all, you had the grace to hold yourself. All those around you. We'll just finish up with um, 
or the, the typical the normal song we finish off with just let's hope i can pull it up here wherever it is it's in pay oh god where's page is going on you says beautiful song nice change of tempo so elton john live in crow park he was brilliant pages okay so again as a last song every night uh four delighted to have everybody along hope you enjoyed it as much as we did again every night seven o'clock and uh, we have our three practice songs etc so if you've got instruments that you need to dust down and get out bring them out okay pardon last good luck until tomorrow evening of all the money there I spent I've spent it in good company And all the harm there I did Alas, it was to none but me And all I've done for one double wit to me So fill to me the heart in love. Good night and joy be with you all. If I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maiden in the town. Sorely has my heart begun Her rosy cheeks and ruby lips I own she has my heart and throat So filled to me the parting clouds Good night and joy be with you They're sorry for my going away And all the sweethearts that e'er I had They'd wish me one more day to stay But since it fall unto my lot That I should rise and you should know I gently rise and softly call Good night and joy be with you all Good night and joy be with you all So again, uh, thanks very much for joining with us. I mean, and, and particularly all your comments and forward and backwards to each other because that's what makes the sense of community we are an online community trying to do what we can during this COVID crisis. Best of wishes to everybody. Stay safe. Uh, and again, on tomorrow night, E Hawaii, August. E Hawaii, Lucia Gallar says, Slon, good Yeah. So again. And lovely evening. All right. Good.